This tutorial will demonstrate how to search Ovid Medline for studies of prognosis, including cohort studies, case control studies, and case reports. To start, click on the Ovid link on the library's homepage, library.tulsa.ou.edu. Click the Ovid Medline link. At this point, you may be prompted to log in using your OUHSC credentials. For this search, we will use the following clinical question. Are child abuse and poverty predicting factors of major depression in adulthood? For this example, we are going to simplify this search by searching for articles that address only child abuse and major depression. But you can apply these principles when you search for articles about poverty too. From our clinical question, we'll use child abuse and major depression as keywords to start our search. Before we begin searching, make sure the map term to subject heading box is checked. Enter the phrase child abuse into the search bar and hit enter. The first page we are taken to is a list of possible medical subject headings that were mapped to our search term. Each subject heading has a scope note indicated with the blue eye icon. The scope note includes a definition of the subject heading along with the possible uses for the term. Let's leave the check mark next to child abuse to select the term. We will also want to explode our terms in order to pick up any subject headings that fall under the category of terms that we have chosen. Click the explode box next to child abuse. Then click continue. On this page, you will see a number of subheadings that apply to the child abuse subject heading. Since we are just beginning this search and want to keep our options as broad as possible, let's click the continue button to complete the search. This effectively includes all the subheadings. We now have a set of over 28,000 results. We'll leave those alone for now and continue by searching for another search term from our clinical question. This time, we'll search for major depression. Enter major depression in the search box and press the enter key. Since we have several options of subject headings, we have to select the subject heading that best matches our search term. Click the box next to depressive disorder major. We'll proceed as we did for the child abuse search, checking the explode box, and including all subheadings. We now have two separate sets of search results. Our next step is to combine the two searches that we have already completed so that we retrieve results that pertain to all of our subject terms. Click the checkboxes next to our two searches, and then click the AND button next to Combine With. We can now search for studies of prognosis within our results set. There is more than one way to do this. One way is to add additional subject headings, such as cohort studies, case control studies, and case reports to your search. Try searching for the subject heading cohort studies and then adding it to your search. You can also limit a result set to more general studies of prognosis by using the clinical queries limit. To apply this limit, select the additional limits button underneath the search bar. Before we select limits to apply, we need to select which set of results uh, to which we are going to apply this limit. In this case, we want to limit the search for child abuse and major depressive order or searches one and two. Select the radio button for the search in question. Now look for the clinical queries lines in the left column. Clinical queries are limits for retrieving clinical studies of different categories. The prognosis category will limit your results to studies of prognosis, diagnosis, prediction, and also 
specific study types like cohort studies. Select the clinical queries limit prognosis, best balance of sensitivity and specificity, in order to receive a balance of recall and relevancy within your search results. Now click the Limit a Search button. We will now see a new results list set. The results in this set each have the subject headings of child abuse and depressive disorder major and fall within the criteria of the prognosis clinical query limit. At this point, you could decide to limit your results further by applying another limit, such as an age group, language, or publication date. To learn how to search for other studies, check out more of the library's evidence-based practice tutorials. Happy searching!